uh, was saying before about um, the use of you know forecasting and data and communicating mm. that uh, with teams. I think there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, correlation there. Yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 I this. we talk about forecasting as being a, the outcome is a bunch of numbers, but think about the exercise of forecasting and doing it properly. You're getting multi multidisciplinary teams, people from across the organisation sitting down, identifying the problem we're trying to solve. It's a phrase we use internally all the time to get people to focus, not just on the, the instant reactivity that they can do, but what's the bigger picture we're really trying to drive to. Um, so forecasting is, as I said, it's about storytelling inside the business. So you get more people spending more time thinking about what are the risks ahead of time? What are the opportunities ahead of time? Where do we want to bias our action how do we nudge towards uh, towards opportunity away from risk? And also, if we're doing the do nothing different, do something different, you're teaching people every day to evaluate the possibilities ahead of them. And so forecasting itself is not just about telling a story of the business. It's about training the muscle. If you've got more people than the CEO or the C-suite or the leadership group thinking about the future of the business, you surely are better off. And that means when it comes time to react, when something's popping up that you haven't dealt with before. They've got a framework for thinking. So it's not just about how am I going to make myself look good or not look bad. It's about what is the business need at this point? Because I've never really come across people who want to sabotage your business. But moments of stress are the real challenge points. We talk about, we, uh, to me, there's a real difference between reactivity and agility. Reactivity is just rabbit in the headlights, what do I do next? And you're more likely to get lots of bad decisions if we're simply being reactive. The amygdala kicks in and fight a fight or flight response. More powerful is the Formula One pit crew idea of being agile. The ability to plan the business for long-term steady runs, but then when something goes wrong, we are ready to deal with it in 2.3 seconds. Uh, that is a massive difference. And I've dealt with organisations where we've transformed them. It's taken years to transform them from reactivity to agility but the benefits pay off long-term.